Effective structure and organisation is essential for the method section, as it underpins the whole of your research. The method needs a clear internal structure, often much more so than other aspects of writing up research. This is usually achieved using sections and headings. Writing the method in one continuous block of text makes it harder to identify key information about how you did your research, but if we use sections and headings, it's much easier to follow the method and find the information we need. Which sections should you include? This very much depends on what's relevant to your particular research, but make sure that your sections include all aspects of your method, everything you used and all of the steps you carried out. We can't give you specific sections to include, but here are some aspects to consider. Tell us who or what you investigated. This could be participant groups, organisations, animal or plant species, or anything else that was the source of your data. Describe any relevant physical equipment used, such as displays, detectors, analysis devices, or other specialist equipment. Report any materials used, such as surveys, psychological tests, stimuli, chemical solutions, or anything else. The sections and the headings you choose for these areas are particularly dependent on your research. You'll need to include the procedure, usually with a step-by-step description of how data were collected. Also tell us about the data analysis, such as data cleaning or preparation steps, any analysis software used, the statistical tests carried out, or any other analysis methods. Sections relating to these areas appear in most methods. Once you have your sections and headings, you need to put them in a logical order. Again, what's logical depends on your particular research. Often it makes sense to order sections chronologically according to when they occurred. Putting it simply, think about before, during and after the research. Before sections cover things you needed to prepare in order to carry out the research. It's common to start with who or what you investigated, then include equipment, materials or anything else relevant. During covers the data collection procedure and any other sections about what you did. Finally, after covers data analysis or other activities that took place after data collection. If your method has multiple methodologies or experiments, it might make sense to describe these separately. For example, you might describe quantitative methods followed by qualitative methods, or experiment one, then experiment two. Let's think about how to apply this in an example method structure. Our research project compares the efficacy of video and static resources in an online academic writing course. Two groups take the course. One receives content in video format, and the other gets the same content as static documents. At the end of the course, all students complete a written assignment, and then we compare the grades for the two groups. How are we going to structure this method? Firstly, we need a participant section, with subsections for the video group and the static documents group. Then let's add a section for the materials, which in this case are the online resources. Again, we need subsections for the two resource types. We'll include information on the software used and other relevant information about how the materials were made. Moving on to the procedure, we need a section about how the online writing course took place. Things like the length of the course, the amount of time that students spent studying and other relevant information. Next, we need a section about the written assignment and how it was marked. The final section covers the data analysis, which in this case is how the assignment scores for the two groups were compared. For more examples, the best thing to do is to look at papers or student work in your field to see which structures are used in similar research to yours. We also have some more example method structures from different subjects and study levels. The link is in the video description. Find loads more academic and digital skills resources on the skills guides, subjectguides.york.ac.uk forward slash skills.